In this particular session, we are discussing string processing and here we are considering three main function under the string processing head and they are like this insert, delete and replace. So, in this session we shall discuss the insert and for other sessions in the next videos we shall go for other two. In case of insert it takes three input arguments one is the text, another one is the position and the last one is the string. So, text, position and string. So, they will be of string type, integer type and it will be of also of string type. Let us explain this one with one proper example. See, insert a b c d e f g. So, a b c d e f g is nothing but a text and 3 is the position and x y z is the string. So, now what will happen? So, at the third place, so here at the third place that x y z will get inserted and that is the purpose of the insert function. So, a b will be there then x y z will get inserted and the remaining part is c d e f g. So, they will be coming. So, if you go for some elaboration it is nothing but a b concatenation with x y z and then concatenation with the rest part that is c d e f g. So, in this way insert operation is taking place. So, let us write a generic uh, formula for this insert. Okay. See, I am considering this one, I am just considering this one as insert T K S. Okay, what is T? In this example, it is A B C D E F G and K is 3 and S means X Y Z. Okay, so I am taking this a uh, generic form in the terms of variables. Okay, at first I'm, I should go for the substring retrieval and of A B from this. So, how many characters? Two characters. From which place? From the very first place. So, 2 means what? 2 means 3 minus 1. So, 2 means what? Means k minus 1. So, I should write in this way. See. So, substring t, t means the main text. From the very first place, I am picking up k minus 1 number of characters. So, that is my a b. Then I am concatenating it with x, y, z. What is x, y, z? That is the third component means the s show I should write. So, that is concatenation s concatenation. Now, I am remaining with the last part and what is the last part? That is c, d, e, f, g. c, d, e, f, g. So, how many number of characters here? We are having here 5 characters. So, how to get 5? Here I am getting, here I am getting 3. Then how to get 5? Okay. At first you see, what is the length of the string? The length of the string is 7. Okay. So, I am having 7, I am having 3. How to get 5? That is 7 minus 3 plus 1. So, that is the way to get 5. Okay. So, it is nothing but Okay, now see it is nothing but the main text from the position, what is the position here? From the third position, 5 characters. What is the third position? Third means 3 means the 3 means from the kth position. And how many characters? Uh, I require 5 characters. What is the length here? 7. And what is the value of this? 3. So, 7 minus 3 plus 1 means what? 5. So, length of t minus k plus 1. So, this is the generic form. So, substring t 1 k minus 1 is giving me a b. S I am giving, uh, it is giving me x y z and substring t k length of t minus k plus 1 is giving me c d e f g. So, in this way there is a generic form of this insert function. So, in this particular session I have discussed the insert function. Please watch the next videos where I'll, I shall be discussing delete and replace into details. So, thanks for watching this one.